Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, The Apocalypse, and Zombies! <laughs> so guys, we are back here in this episode of Austin Square. As you guys know from last episode, it ended kind of weirdly, and I want to explain something to you guys. Um, This is a mod, and quite... And as you guys know, mods are very unstable, so... From time to time, mods will crash your computer, especially if you have lots of stuff going on, so... Um, yeah, basically what happened last episode was... My game crashed, and so I had to restart from the nearest save point, which was like a year before the game crashed, and so I had to wait. I had to go through an entire year as this country to wait till I could do everything again. So it was a very long process, but I finally got it up to date, but... Yeah, um, something I've been noticing with this mod a lot is that it crashes a ton. Like, a ton. So, I'm gonna try to take it easy with this mod, and just gonna go at full speed from now on. To try to minimize the crashing. And apparently, Oregon will join our lovely, lovely union again. I guess in this timeline, it did not happen yet. Okay. Hmm. And the plurality just won against the United States, woohoo and imprisonment and all this good jazz I can probably bring administration down back to 50 I don't really need it that badly let's let's be real here it's not really that important to our survival okay anyways it seems like the world is starting to slowly dissipate and all the former governments have officially started to uh, vanish so our gigantic arrow spree will soon begin and it's kind of neat here, guys. Well, not kind of neat, but kind of sad that Japan has also fallen, too. So, look forward to colonizing Japan, too, because Japan fell. That's kind of sad. Really, it is. And it looks like I am number one great power in everything, so... I really don't expect much opposition from many other people. And finally, Oregon is now going to become a state. Good job. Now we have another state in our union, which is great. Alright, and I did, the only thing, I guess the only thing, I should, I should mention this earlier, the only thing I did differently that I did the first time around was I actually recruited more soldiers, so we have a lot more soldiers now, which is, I, I frankly, I think is good, and I'm going to have to hire taxes on the bourgeoisie, and going to have to hire tariffs, there we go, that should bring us into the positives. Even though our projected net growth is terrible and our taxes are not accommodating to all our expenses needs, it's all good. And the grievous insults, uh, you know what, relationships over time is better, but I don't think that nation's going to be long, around long enough to do anything. So Oklahoma, let's colonize you guys. And yay, they are now a state again, even though I, I swear that's happened like two or six, two or three times. Maybe not on screen, but off screen it's happened a couple times and I've been like, ah. Oklahoma, you bring the death to us all. Every time I get you guys a state, somehow I... The world ends. <laughs> okay, anyways, um... Yeah, right now, as I said earlier, we are just trying to protect our entire land from the evil, evil zombie horde, which has become quite easier to protect ourselves from, since now they're only spawning from one region, which is just this part right over here. Now, since we only have to deal with this part right over here, and don't have to deal with, like, all of this, we can effectively guard everything in our land, which is, as you guys know, just great. Being able to guard everything in your land is great, and right here I'm going to build some more uh, uh, railroad tracks. I'm already starting to fund all this. Let's fund a regular clothes factory. Regular clothes factory would not be bad. And anything else? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, we have all these... A finite American men are guarding the border of the USCA quite effectively. We have basically blocked off all, uh, well, we effectively blocked off all, um, zombies from getting in here. And I think it is almost safe to say that America is going to live. Um, <laughs> like, I, I could quite frankly see us living now. Now that the, uh, Colombian exchange, well, the Colombian borders have been separated from the mainland. We could definitely live now. We don't have to deal with gigantic zombie hordes anymore, and effectively, we could guard our own land too. So, I think this zombie apocalyptic world is starting to look very up for the United States. As they say again, everything's coming up, Millhouse. 
All right, and look at all this uncolonized land. It's going to be like the best feeling in the world to go in and go conquer this. I mean, uh, liberate the people and give these people, um, s give these people back the American way of civilization and prosperity. There we go. That's how you justify colonization, people. Right there. <laughs> For prosperity and religion, actually. I forgot religion. Which, I don't... I'm not sure. Is my religion... Oh, yeah, we are a very religious country right now because we are uh, doing the Second Great Awakening. Yay! Good thing to happen. And Brazil, you guys are almost completely gone. So is the rest of the South American countries, too. They're going to vanish quite quickly, and we're going to go in and go snatch them all up. And Europe is slowly getting destroyed too. I mean, it's not, it's, they're not safe either. Portugal is almost all gone. Um, Fulham somehow survived. I'm going to gain two prestige because why not? And, oh gosh, I'm almost about enough colonial power to do stuff again. I should probably start uh, increasing more of my naval bases down here so I can start colonizing that a little bit better. And, hmm. What should I do? Well, I should look at my main competitors right now. The UK is obviously my other bit main competitor, and then I even close to my militaristic power. Like, they stink. <laughs> even at deployed, they stink. Uh, France is also pretty much stunk. Denmark is a major power right now, which is insane. Sweden's also a major power, which is insane. And past Sweden, I don't really consider these guys great powers because they're zero in all stats, which I don't really constitute as a great power. That's just like... What? Okay, and it looks like they're all going to slowly vanish anyways. Um, I'm curious, I'm honestly curious to see which col which uh, countries were able to establish their own safe zones. It seems like China will actually survive again because they have uh, Taiwan, but I'm surprised, I'm honestly surprised this time around that Japan was taken over. That's probably going to be the biggest game changer in this entire game. And I got a new national idea now that I have states. Now that I have the mission to colonize, which is going to be a great event, um, I do now just have to wait until 1850 before I can get the next event. So in the meantime, I'm going to get romanticism, a uh, colony, a uh, technology I would normally not want to get. But the reason why we need that technology is because we want this manifest destiny, everyone. And uh, whoever is an American knows manifest destiny off of the off of the palm of their hands. It is the Destiny of America to expand all the way to the west and own everything in its path. Oh, good old Manifest Destiny. And soon Manifest Destiny and the Moreau Doctrine will combine to make the ultimate doctrine of expand all the way to the west and expand all and protect all the world from the evil zombies. Yes, the evil zombies. And our country is doing great. I kept. I'm still surprised. I kept everything good. Everything's just going so good. All right, and let's see. How are we doing in terms of capitalists? Capitalists are starting to expand everywhere, which is exactly what I want. I want to make sure there are more capitalists in this uh, world, so so to speak. And I'm going to keep replacing different capitalists. So I'm going to replace the one with New York. I'm going to go to Ohio and start encouraging capitalists. Or actually, I should start encouraging craftsmen first because they need craftsmen. Over here, these guys need craftsmen. Uh, let's go right here. And then, let's see, any other place struggling for stuff? Illinois, you guys need craftsmen too. So let's get some craftsmen here. And I'll have the people from Pennsylvania, I think, was a little bit too many capitalists. So let's get some people from Pennsylvania going in. And Massachusetts is like 0.38% of its population is at... That's kind of funny. Minnesota is finally going to join our states. Statehood? Yeah! Minnesota, it's good to have you in the Union. God bless Minnesota. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, we are just, like I said, we're just waiting, waiting around for that inevitable technology that will bring us to the glory days of all this. I mean, I, I don't think the Spanish survived. Well, actually, the Spanish did survive. Shoot, they survived on a little tiny island. I was going to say they got wiped out, but they actually did survive. And I guess France is also alive, and so is Sardinia. Wow, a couple of these, like, island staters will be able to live. So is Egypt. <laughs> and the Ottomans. The Ottomans, I guess, will still live after this is all over, and so will the Egyptians. Um, Oman, I guess, will also live. Oh, wait, is that Oman or Yemen? Yemen will also live! Yes! 
Go Yemen for surviving! Oh gosh, it's so cool. Okay, and all these islands got conquered up and gobbled up, and except for this one, this Spanish island of the Philippines is just completely still alive. Like, they are kicking it out. They're like, shh, there's a zombie horch? Where? Shh, over. Shh. Alright, and we are, I can't mean not doing best of worlds, just because I'm still not taxing any of the, poor, the rich, even though they would actually give me a good, decent amount, amount of uh, money. I want to make sure the rich are as uh, happy with their lives as I am, so that they build my factories for me, because I seriously don't want to micromanage this game, and they have 6,000 of them, that's a good number right now, we have a good number, and... I'm going to move this established capitalist spot to somewhere else because that's a little bit too. I'm thinking we a little bit too many in Massachusetts, so we move. Focus. Let's see. Is there any other place that has massive amounts of stuff? Let's go. New York would be a pretty good place. Pennsylvania. Let's go back. Let's move our capitalists back to Pennsylvania. Uh, how many capitalists? Oh, that's a really low capitalist margin. Let's get some more capitalists in the area of Pennsylvania because they need more. And yes, I have this. Oh, thank goodness. I was waiting for this event to happen. So now we have the zombie land, which could I actually justify a war to go take zombie land. Demand a concession from zombie land. <laughs> oh, and they have no government, they have no political organization, they're unorganized. Great job. But anyways, oh gosh, wait, how much population does zombie land have? 4.5, 4.6. Oh, such a lovely country right there. 4.96 million zombies. Oh gosh. Just imagine all the brains they have to feed every single day. Ugh, I wouldn't want to be that country's manager. Alright, and... <laughs> Alright, so now, right now, we are just... Gosh, like I said, we are just chilling. We are definitely just chilling out. I'm waiting for Romanticism to finish, which it should finish up in a couple turns, which means it's time for a war with uh, our great friends over there of Mexico. They're going to concede a lot to us. And the time to play ball! So in, Cor in Corporatestown near New York, the first public baseball game took place. The New York Kid Blockers to the New York 9, 1 to 23. That is a smoking! That's not even close! Wow! Gosh, that just. That was really the first baseball game? Wow. That was like a terrible game for the people that were, like, on the other time. So, yeah. <laughs> I just learned some baseball history right there. And right now, I'm kind of worried about the Mexicans' uh, army, because they do have a, like, I'm surprised. The Mexicans actually do have the second biggest army right now, which I don't understand why they are not, like, in the top right now, because they should be in the top. Honestly, they are better suited to be a great power than any other nation. I don't know why they aren't yet. And let's see, Manifest Destiny, everyone, we're going to enact it. Yes! Wah ha 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 ha! And I'm also gonna anything in comments I need. Um, I might want to get some steel production. Do I want some of this? Ooh, I'm also going to supply range would also be pretty nice. Uh, let's see, seven seven. We need to work on something industrial right now. So let's go into mecha mechanical production because mechanical production is pretty good. And let's get ready to declare war on the uh, Mexicans for the gigantic concession that I'm going to make. And since I'm the most powerful person in the game, I don't have to worry about the infamy limit. I mean, there is possibly no one in this game that can stop me right now. Not even the UK. The U Oh, and the UK has even been talked down. Yeah, they could not deal with my power. So, <laughs> we are unequivocally the most powerful nation right now, all because we protected ourselves. From the zombies and we have a couple armies ready to go destroy mexico once everything breaks out again wonder if i should build one more arm yeah let's build one more army just to do everything so one two three four for those one two three four for those one no wait 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 we need one two and then one of these that should make a good even sized army now we have to wait for it to come out and it's gonna take a little bit longer for that but once that army is out, then we can officially declare war for our entire cores. Because, I mean, we don't have to declare war immediately. I mean, these cores do not go away. And we're going to have to take how many regions? One, two, three, four, five. We're going to have to take five regions from Mexico. And then whatever else I want. 
Oh, basically, I can take as much as I want in this, and no one will ever, 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 ever stand against me. Wow. I... I think power has gotten to my head, people, but I think that's a good thing for a Let's Play. When power goes to a person's head, that's a good thing in a Let's Play. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, so we have 18... Holy smokes! That's a lot of projects going right now. They are really... My capitalists are starting to get into it. They're starting to get the group of things now. That's good. Um, that means I am gonna have to tax you guys at least 5%. Because I am... I do feel kind of bad for the poor, so I know you guys have been a good help to me, but we do have to tax you guys just a little bit. I mean, you guys are... What? No, I don't want to be taxed that much. Give me, like, 20% taxes on the rich. Yeah, that's a, that's a good amount of taxes. I mean, it's not too much, but it's not too little. They understand that I'm in control, but they also understand that I'm not... I'm giving them special privileges, which is what they should understand. They're the rich. I worship you guys because you guys build stuff for me. Uh, although the poor, once socialism comes around, it's going to be uh, it's going to be not very fun to deal with. And the Smithsonian Institution was established. The United States Congress funded the Smithsonian Institution because the zombie apocalypse broke out, and since history was now starting to die around us due to all these places being overhauled by zombies, it was our sacred duty as Americans to bring about. To bring about and teach the world about the new history. So, let let there be more things in the heavens and the earth. Gain prestige and research. So, let's go right here. So, everyone's moving. Yes, the great migration of my army is moving towards the borders of Mexico. Okay. And I positively have way better attack than they should. I should have way better attack than, at this time than they should. And I'm going to... Get some navy range and supply range. Is there any idealism? No. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to take in this in this time. I, I'm really trying to take evenly. Grievous insults. Do I really care? Oman, you're about to go die. So I don't really care if you guys like hate me. You guys can hate me as much as you want. I don't care. And over here, Europe seems to have almost completely vanished. There's like a couple Austrian places, which I'm holding out hopes that those will be the places that the Austrians will use to re-establish the empire, so is a little bit in France, and so is a little bit in Denmark. Um, my old friends at the Two Sicilies have been completely gobbled up. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard played the Two Sicilies. It really is, and Russia, I, I did not expect Russia to survive. They're just way too big of a nation, and I have to deal with two different hordes from Europe and from Asia, you're not gonna live that way. Okay, so more of my men are coming, let's go right here, go send them there. Is that it? Or is there any more? Do I have to build? No, that's it. That's the last of the men. So let's get them all over there. Get them all to the border so that they can battle this army when we declare war. I mean, our army is completely ready for this attack. We're like, yeah, there, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Mexicans don't even have the men fully supplied. I mean, look at that. Their morale is just like so low. This is going to be like a instant destruction, I really do think. And how are railroads doing? We're doing okay in terms of the railroads. We haven't built all the railroads I would like, but I'm about to go to war, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. And let's see. I'm not really subsidizing my factories that much. In fact, a couple of my factories are making us a lot of money, so that's kind of good. So you guys are making us a lot of money. You guys are making us a lot of money. You guys are also making us a lot of money. You guys are also making us a lot of money. Wow, that's really nice. All these places are making us such a ton amount of money. I didn't even have to subsidize them. That's sweet. It means our economy is really doing well. And the last 6K troops are arriving. All right. Oh, I'm so ready for this war. I'm so ready for this war, guys. We're going to take all the rest of the land from Mexico. And then from there, I think it'll just be about time to go start colonizing and reconquering all this land that belongs to us. But, I'm going to have to say this, guys, that <laughs> the conquest for Mexico is going to have to wait until next episode. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a fun, fun, fun episode for me to see everything happen, like, in terms of uh, the world slowly vanishing and in terms of that we're about to go in war with Mexico. So, please turn into the next episode and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys da -da -da -da, next time.